G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I got a collage club video for you today from May 2024, which is also going to be my mermaid challenge for 2024. I am doing it. I'm doing daily videos. The first one should be up today with this video actually. So go check that out if you're interested. I'm gonna try and do daily videos for the whole month. We'll see how we go. <laughs> I've got a bunch filmed already. I actually started all of this in April. And uh, so I'm kind of close to the end of Mermaid, even though it's just starting. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the uh, surprise for you too much. But that is kind of what I had to do just to make sure I could do the daily videos. To me, the, the challenge part of Mermaid is the daily video. Why am I talking to you about this in Mermaid? I should save that for that video. This is Collage Club, but it does kind of uh, preface why there's so many mermaids in this month and probably why there's going to be a ton more in next month. Uh, but here we have the cover of my journal. I have this is my mermaid journal. There's a video of me making this cover on YouTube. I put it up a few weeks ago. So you can check all that out. I did it in stages. So it's very, very heavily layered and there's lots of little details and little mermaids flying around everywhere. So this is the front cover and this is the back cover. I wanted to give it to you just in case you were curious to uh, have a copy of those for yourself. They're full pages, super, super colorful, lots of uh, little sections you could kind of cut out and collage and you know repaste back together. I also kind of want to take some of the mermaids and put them inside my journal, maybe revamp them a little bit. You'll see when I start showing you the mermaid uh, footage, what that journal is all about and how creative and fun it has become. So uh, I'll save that for your eyes for then. But this is the front and back cover of the journal, two full size pages, I love that. I think I might even cut out that and uh, just use that as my own little title in another journal. Uh, because I have these two titles. This was the original pencil sketch and this is the one that I cleaned up in ink. I do prefer the pencil sketch. Sometimes there's just more charm to an original sketch of something. Uh, but the, I mean, they're just kind of funny looking mermaids that spell out mermaid. That was my little logo title for uh, this challenge. And the colors on this are a little bit different. They're a little bit more saturated, a little bit more yellow, uh, especially these. This is actually yellow. I don't know why it printed green. I, again, that actually just could be my eyes because I can't see a bit of that yellow green spectrum very well. But the um, it kind of happened on this as well. I put the printer through a cleaning and it kind of picked itself back up again. But yeah, I had already printed them and I didn't want to waste the paper in the ink because they're not terribly off. I also have the original, so it's not too much of a bother for me if the colors are a touch off, but especially stuff like this. These are really vibrant magentas and oranges. So you might have to fiddle with your printer settings if it doesn't work out well for you, but it should. I think it was just my printer cleaner. Also, all printer settings are different, so it's always a bit of a fiddle here and there. This is a bunch of the mermaids. These two pages, actually, I put them side by side. In my journal, I have the mermaids that I'm doing each day, but then I've also been picking up the journal whenever I feel like it and been drawing other mermaids. So these are all the other mermaids that are in there already that aren't uh, actually the mermaids from each of the daily challenge pieces. And believe it or not, there's actually a ton more than this. I think I've... I've got a tally going somewhere, but I've, I've not kept track properly. There are so many other mermaids in that journal. Uh, this one wasn't. This one was from an HR training that I was doing that I got a little... No, it wasn't that. It was a, a music rehearsal. <laughs> I got a little bit sidetracked when I was trying to learn my... my uh, memorize my lines. But a lot of these other mermaids, they kind of feature in there. You'll see this is that little five-year journal um, mermaid spread that I did. There's a tutorial of these mermaids. If you are looking to do something from mermaid, how many more times can I say mermaid mermaids? Uh, if you're looking to do something that is a little approachable and I would, I don't want to say easy because every it's relative, right? But it is very approachable. It's very beginner friendly. You can also kind of extend beyond that tutorial and do something a little bit more advanced if you want to. But it is just a very simple idea uh, that I kind of really enjoyed. And it's very methodic. It's very formulaic, which is always kind of the best tutorials I find. Uh, people most have the most success when they do stuff like that and they teach that. So that's something I put on YouTube just so you had something that you could do and be successful at if you're going to participate in the challenge. And if you don't want to make sure you get to the end and you don't have all the 31 mermaids, this is a very, very achievable result. So that was up last week, I believe. And I'll let you kind of see the other mermaids as they come to life. Uh, I, again, the way I'm doing those videos is kind of filming it all separately and then voiceovering it separately. So I won't really be referencing what's happening in the video a ton. I may, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do uh, with each particular video. But some days you might see these mermaids and you're like, oh, where did that idea come from? And I'm going to be talking about something completely different. So 
fear not, right at the end, I'm sure I'll flip the whole journal and explain everything, because uh, you know I love to chat about it. But <laughs> for now, just uh, use your imagination to see where some of these came from. Some of these are actually old Collage Club pieces. Like this uh, was an old Collage Club piece from Playtest Patreon 3 last year, the uh, Wednesday Adams tutorial that we did. And oh, the Wednesday Wednesday, remember that? I actually just extended it into a mermaid. It's quite simple, but my favorite part of the fish uh, the hair at the end, that's fish that kind of is eating her braid. And then some of these are stamp and illustration mermaids. This one I was copying a picture of myself and uh, turned it into a mermaid. Got a Tim Burton-esque mermaid down there. Steve said this is very 80s, that he really liked that one. This one is huge in my journal. It's very neon orange and pink. You'll see it all. You will see it all, I promise. And that, actually, no, I don't promise. You know, I don't like making promises I can't keep. I have intentions for you to see it all. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to really commit to it. So that should be enough. This is the last page of your May set of Collage Club printables. This is the five-year uh, journal from, I was going to say last year, from the last five years, the one that I have com fully completed. Remember I told you there was a whole bunch of pages that just featured all the random illustrations and I was going to put them out each month. Uh, there's still more, <laughs> believe it or not. Who would have thought five years worth of journaling, there'd be tons of pages of illustrations. But there are, some of them are a little bit more categorized though. Like there's a whole Inktober challenge that I did in there. There's a whole bunch of other like random doodles that I think are a little bit more Halloween-y. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to divvy up all those, but this was a whole bunch of random stuff, and there's some mermaids in here as well, because even when it's not mermaid, I'm still drawing mermaids. I love these little corner piece girls. This is a stamp set that I just drew over the top of. They're just really rough pencil sketches. The uh, Tim Burton Catwoman. This was from the Daisy style workshop when I was going through that and just uh, doodling in my journal to watch along. An Alice in Wonderland, a little fashion sketch that I did with my stamp set, a little Tiana from Virtual Voyage 7. This is from Virtual Voyage 5, VVV, the very villainous voyage. I love my alliteration, can't get enough. These little pencils I thought were really fun. They were actually a, a way to fill space. I think if you've seen those five-year videos, you might have seen that, but um, I'm still going through and chatting through each of those pages as well, so I'm not quite sure if I'll put any of those up in May. It might be a bit of an overload of videos, but also... When I get excited and I want to share something, I just share it. So, you know, there's not too much rhyme or reason to that. So if you see it, you see it. But I am still going to go through that journal and keep talking through it. This old ballerina, she's from years ago. Little Virtual Voyage Doodle. Um, I've always loved this really hideous looking mermaid. And I think that was from that Daisy style workshop as I was going through that. Just some of those doodles. Yeah. Little cutie pie stamp set that I did there. And that is the set of five. I'm glad we could keep this rather succinct today because I do have plans to uh, do a lot of other filming today. And I thought I was going to take way too long to explain all of that because I get sidetracked. But I guess a lot of it you will be seeing throughout the month. And I'm excited to spend a month just kind of catching up, talking about different topics. If you want to hear anything particular in this month, like you got a really brand impressing question that you think would be fun for me to answer on video, I would love to read those in the comments below and see what I can do for you. Uh, it can be about anything. I'm, I'm, I don't discriminate when it comes to topics. But obviously, if it's about art journaling, uh, the video will probably be a million years long. So <laughs> whatever you want, whatever you want to ask, if you do, otherwise I'll just pick the topics and I'll chat at will. Hopefully I can get Steve on as well. He hasn't been around the channel for a while and uh, maybe I can just drag him in and just start chatting to him on camera. Maybe I'll secretly film it and then I'll, no, I won't. <laughs> It'll be so mad. Steve would hate that. Um, no, I'll, I'll see if he wants to come on and have a chat and tell you where he's at in life too, because he's on his own creative journey with photography. And, you know, I love all the creative visual arts and how they all, and the performing arts, how they all mix together and create for a really fun, vibrant, colorful life, obviously, as you can see on screen. And I gotta go, I gotta go do some other stuff. So I will see you again when I see you, probably today for Mermaid, start of Mermaid 2024. If you're doing the challenge, happy challenge to you. My, uh, oh wow, look, sometimes I just see it, even when they're not falling out, I just see the color palette and I think that's what I want. I'm going to put that over there for later. If you don't know, these are um, connector pens. These are Australian. Well, they're not really Australian. It's Faber-Castell, so I guess it's German? Uh, Austrian? I don't know. This is, um, this is like a very popular marker in Australia when you're kids. And we used to build like 
you know, build lots of things out of them and just play in school. Uh, they're just a water-based marker. They're streaky. They're not like your Tombow or anything. It's it's definitely like just a children's kind of play marker. And I, they just were so nostalgic when I went home one year. I decided to... Oh, I love that color palette too. I think up until there. Yeah. Um, I, I just decided to buy a set and bring it back with me. And every now and again, these aren't as clicky as they used to be. Like, they click together, they, but they used to snap together. They used to be very... Uh, capable of holding their shape. I don't know if it's just my batch or if they were just redesigned like that to stop kids from building huge, you know, weapons in <laughs> primary school and playing with them. But they don't click together as well anymore. So sometimes they just fall apart. But when they fall apart, sometimes they fall apart in the most random color palette. And I just love it. So whenever I find these fall apart is this color palette or just now when I literally saw a couple, you know, variations that I liked, I'll just snap a picture of it, maybe even swatch out these colors, and just, I call them a connector pen color palette. I rarely use them, like, it's not like I go back and reference them for anything. I think I have a couple times, but I don't typically do that with colors, I just pull whatever I like at the time. But sometimes I do find a color palette uh, that I really love, and I'll stick with it, or I'll make some special little pot like this. These fell apart the other day, and I just thought this was so great. And then I did a, a swatch in my journal, and... I loved this. So, I'm going to put these in there for now so I can remember that. This might be my little color palette pot. Is that a thing? Let's make that a thing. No, let's not. <laughs> no more things. There's enough things in art journaling. There's too many things. Let's undo all the art journaling things. No, it's fine. Um, I'm just rambling on now because i got to chat. So maybe I'll just switch the video over and start chatting about Mermaid. How about that? Have a great collage club this month everyone i'll see you when i see you all the links to everything is in the description below and until then bye, -bye.